Hi guys, it's me, Wussy. Did I just block your face? You did. It's me, Wussy, because I'm more important. <laughs> and Richard, and... Where's Minnie? <laughs> Minnie's in the door. She's Hi, gone. Minnie! Anytime she can uh, go to the doormat, we'll go to the doormat and see if there's anything there. Um, hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying Sweet. lockdown three. Uh, um, he's trying to get to speak. Uh, so we are going to show something to you today. Something very exciting, which is not that exciting, but it's exciting for us. We've had a delivery! Woo! Um, yeah, it's um, something you may have heard of. Um, it's not that new, but I know some people have had experience with it or similar companies. Others maybe haven't yet, so we thought we'd just show you how it works. So this is Hello Fresh um, that we've had delivered today, and it's been sitting outside for quite a few hours, but it's quite cold, so I'm it's hoping it's there. fine. Yeah, it's cold today. We've been busy with work. <gasps> You're getting a phone call, very Ooh. popular. Um, yeah, so we we've had it waiting outside we've been working from home we've been outside with Minnie had a playtime with her and now it's dinner time so it is the evening so we're going to open up a hello fresh if you don't know what it is um then essentially what have we got five meals yeah but you can get three i think can i you... got i got we got five but i think i think you can get three four or five during a week and it's up it's, to you, it's like packaged meals so you get your recipe card with it. You pick what recipes you want. You get yeah. a, a little card with a, with the uh, not the menu. What's the word? Like the recipes for like a breakdown of how you're gonna make it with all the instructions. Yeah. That was a very long-winded way to explain <laughs> it. I know. Uh, and all of the ingredients are measured out for you. Yeah. So for someone like me who doesn't really enjoy cooking dinner. I like the fact that I don't have to measure out any of the ingredients. So if it says you need half a cup of this or 200 grams of that, yeah. it's all done and I can just shove it all in. Having said that, I have a feeling I will still be quite slow, so we'll see how we get on. And also Richard ordered the meal, so he went on the website, you can pick... You've no idea what we're getting. No, I've got no idea. <laughs> I've got no idea what we're getting, so I presume it's nice and fun and full of goodness. And healthy, yeah. And healthy. Let's see. But it is all fresh ingredients. So, yeah, we've ordered five meals for two people. So that will see us three for the next five dinners. Yeah. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. So, yeah, let's uh, go over to the box. Yeah, okay, know. so... Is it heavy? It's heavy. Oh. It's not heavy, actually. It's all right. There we go. Hello fresh. Dinner Woo! is solved. Let's hope it is. What does it say? This is a food delivery. Do not return to the depot. Ring the doorbell. If no answer, please follow the leave safe instruction. Is that instructions for us? I've done it. it. Anyway, make sure we don't show our address. Oh, Unless any of the fan mail wants to come in. I've ripped it off. Yeah, so I've got no... Ooh, oh, I've so got the God. cards. <gasps> Ooh. Mini. Every time we're in the kitchen, you will always find a mini golden doodle, presuming it's something for her. Oh, well, Shall I look through these? Because I am intrigued to see what he's got. Okay. So We've got oven-baked risotto, which takes 45 minutes. So that tells you how to make it and the ingredients to on the left. And then also there's like a checklist isn't on the front. These are what you need, so like onion, yeah. garlic, clove, stuff like that. So oven baked risotto. Oh yes, I remember this order now. Fruity Middle Eastern style lamb stew. That sounds nice. 20 minutes. Okay, so that's more my kind of thing because it sounds very quick. Pork linguine. Now, why do I like linguine? I don't know. Because it's oh, one of it's, the characters yeah. in Ratatouille. I didn't know that. <laughs> linguine. Um, so that's a pasta dish. What's this? Pork and lentil Oh, curry I've got pork linguine and I've got no pork red. lentil. Oh, I didn't know I've got Those two poor pork. little piggies. I tried to match it, uh, mix it up a little bit. Oh, well, okay. And like this one. Oh, yeah, this is more your thing. That's why I got that. Because it looks unhealthy. Although it's probably not too bad. Uh, Mexican-style cheesy chicken burger. Oh, there's avocado. How long is that? 35 minutes. Oh. And what do these numbers mean? Do the num are numbers on the bags here? Is that because it goes with the... What date is it? Card. Uh, Alexa, what's the date? It's Friday, February 12th. <gasps> it's oh, Friday, right. February 12th. So Thanks, Alexa. From the 16th, that's good. Four days. 
So we've got four days of that. I think that's the thing, isn't that's it? Tough. With fresh food, this is why I'm really bad at buying fresh food because if, I know if I don't cook it straight uh, away, yeah. it goes off. So I end up just getting I frozen food and junk and rubbish and takeaways. <laughs> Oh yeah, so here we go, look, I've got recipe one. Oh yeah, here we are. Oh yeah, and it says two people, and usually on the actual uh, website you can say whether you want it for, I think, I don't know how many it was, I think it was. You can get it for one, one right? I don't remember. It feels like ages. You must be able to get it if you're on your own, as well. Yeah, well, go on the website and you can probably look oh, yeah. if it's for one people, two That's people, three people, and yeah. there'll be different options, I presume. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because if you're in families and stuff, or maybe you want kids' meals to go with an adult, there'll be different options. Yeah, so I've got the potatoes. Oh, so everything oh, for this one. Down. It's got a number one here, and you can see potato, so you check you've got your potatoes, and then the amount of potatoes that you need is listed on the back. So potato... For two people, it says 450 grams. Does this say 450 grams? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see. You probably can't see very well. It does say on there, anyway, 450 grams of white potatoes. So they've measured that out. Yeah. Oh, we've got Tomatoes. the burger buns over there, so that's yeah. fine. Yeah, you got the I'll get the buns. Are they like brioche ones? What are they? Two burger ones with golden linseed. Mm. Oh, so the treasure cheese, the cheddar cheese must be in this big one. I thought everything would just be in. This must be like the meats and stuff. Oh, yeah. So I think they have a separate. Oh, yeah, like bacon and everything. Oh, so this is a separate bag. So anything that isn't. The pig bag. This is stuff that would go in the, the bath fridge. Pig. The bath pig. <laughs> <laughs> right. So anything that goes in the fridge is in like its own. Bag, which it's all cold, isn't it? Oh my it? day, sausage meat. It feels like it has just come from the fridge. So the fact that we've left it, oh, it's yeah, been it's sitting there thing, all day, it? practically. Oh, there's ice cream. Oh, great. Oh, that's good. So that's really useful, I guess, if you're if you get it delivered in the morning and you're at work, yeah. um, then oh, you can inside. leave it leave it outside and y your food's actually not going to go warm. So that's good. What you doing, Minnie? What you doing? Can you tell that we have a dog? Because. Aside from the fact that we have a dog um, in front of you, the fact that there are toys everywhere! It says um, that I could have customised the recipe, yeah. So actually I could have got some bacon in there and I chose not to for the streaky bacon. So as, it you, as in do you pay extra to get bacon? I, I, I assume so, yeah. From what I remember I was going through the... the so it's a bit like when you the, go to a restaurant and you get that... Um, you know you do like the pre-theatre menu, like two courses for £10 yeah. and maybe something's on there that's actually a premium so it's part of it but you have to pay an extra £2 to get yes, it. I think, a bit like I that. think that's what okay. it is, yeah. No, the thing is, if Russell doesn't make food, and I don't make food for Russell, Russell doesn't eat. And normally a Domino's would just arrive, but this we've, uh, ever since New Year, we've been really good, so um, we've been... That's why we did Hello Fresh, really. Yeah, so we've actually been juicing since 1st of January because uh, I used to feel good, like skinny and in shape and definitely has gone the opposite way over the last few years. Um, and every so often I will maybe do a bit of fad dieting and all that kind of stuff and lose some weight and then just feel rubbish again because I'll go back to junk food and go back to eating rubbish. And I used to... Used to dance every day for a living so you can just eat what you want and uh oh hello Minnie um, <laughs> Minnie's humping my leg with an elephant in her mouth didn't think I'd be saying that this evening um yeah so um yeah it used to feel great so uh, so what I've done is since the first of January I started juicing which is something that I've been doing on and off for years because I know it's not the healthiest thing to do I absolutely love the challenge and Richard for his first time bless his little heart Decided to juice with me, and I was good. And how much I, I weight? How much what? weight have you lost uh, since January first? Um, Is it a stone and a half? It's around a stone. And I've half, lost. Yeah. I've lost. I've lost a stone and ten. I've lost have a I? stone. I've lost a stone and ten pounds since the first of January. I've lost, but a stone I have to keep it up. You're pounds. yeah, you're behind me, but still doing really well. 
Um, and oh, yeah, so what? For, so with that, what we've been doing when we were juicing is I would have. Um, not just juice, so it's not just the juice squeezed out of apples and oranges and bananas and pears and all that kind of stuff. Um, we actually have the have a Nutribullet and that actually blends up the food rather than just squeezing the juice out. So if you want to have a banana, you can put the banana in the cup and blend it all the way up. And it will, and it goes all mushy. You're not just kind of squeezing banana juice out. Although I don't know if you can you squeeze banana juice. I don't even know. Uh, but yeah, so we are. It is actual food. It's just that it's processed into liquid form rather than only having the juice of a fruit or vegetable. Uh, yeah, so that's been oh fruit my God, and I'm having this one because it's got non bread. Woo! Is it gluten free? No, because I didn't choose. Guess lots. who is gluten intolerant? And yeah. guess who got gluten to feed us? Yeah, we won't die. Oh, lovely. I won't die. Um, so we might, might be having gluten tonight, so I might regret that. Um, yeah, so we've been doing that, losing weight, but then the goal now, obviously we can't live off only having liquid. We would have um, a juice for breakfast, a juice for lunch and dinner, or maybe a soup or something like that. So it's always been liquid form. We weren't allowed to eat any solids at all. We did that for all of January, and uh, it's now the middle of February, and what we've been doing for February is been slowly introducing some other food. Um, so we've started to have a few meals last week, really healthy and really small portions not starving ourselves but I can just normally eat I can order a Domino's have a large and just eat the whole thing and have the cookies you know and that's dinner and during the day I've probably had a McDonald's oh, and a KFC yeah. honestly it was that bad um, so yeah the whole point of this is to now start introducing meals try and be healthy watch our portion sizes um, and also combine that with the juicing so that we're not suddenly going from a liquid diet had to having three full meals a day because we don't want to pile all the weight back on. And actually last week we, we've still lost weight this week. Um, I've lost 2.6 pounds this week and Richard lost 2.2. 2.2. He lost 2.2 pounds this yeah. week, I lost 2.6 and that was with introducing food back into our system that's not in liquid form. So we're doing really well. And now it's time to try Hello Fresh. My battery went, so I just had to change that over. Sorry, should have been more prepared. Um, what have I missed? I'm on the last one. Hey, we're on the last one already, are we? Oh, um, you may have noticed as well, um, we may have had an accident. So you might recognize this as being part of Cinderella Castle. The rest of her is there. Uh, so we decided, we had a little move around and we tried to move this unit and we took everything out, uh, in case you didn't know, yes we're Disney fans, we, um, we took everything out apart from Cinderella Castle and we left her there and we tried moving the unit and putting it there and moving the lamp out. Oh, I got my chicken I didn't... stock! Woohoo! Breaking news! So is it in the wrong bag? in one bag. <laughs> Have I you checked it. if we need two bags for that particular recipe though? It just says chicken stock powder. And then it will say on the back, won't it, how much... Yeah, and the chicken stock powder. Does not have, like, one sachet for two um... people? It'll normally say. Oh, uh, yeah, chicken stock powder, two sachets for two people. Yeah. Already, I was wrong, then. So we do have two, but that's not because they've given us an extra one. I got six. Um, oh, yeah, so we tried putting the unit here. And it just didn't work um, because, of course, the sofa then blocks this bottom shelf that's got the books, got all of our Disney books. Um, it got blocked. Anyway, so when we were moving it, and then we moved it back, and Cinderella Castle fell off. So half of it is there. The top half is here. And then don't we have all the pieces somewhere? There. <laughs> and these are all the pieces. So we're going to have to uh, put back together. So we need to pick what we're going to actually have for the dinner. Why don't we put them both down on the floor and let Minnie decide? Okay. Minnie is going to pick dinner. Minnie! Which one? That one. Whichever one she goes to one. first. Which one? She's not going to move and then we'll never get dinner. <gasps> Here we go. She's decided! Yay! Minnie has picked pork and lentil curry! With non-bread, woo! 
okay. Oh, I Minnie, feel like I feel like he set it up something. and like put a treat on top. Minnie, do you want a treat? Come on, Minnie. No. Come on. Oh, no, like it. just a just a little treat. Do you want a little treat, Minnie? A little treat. Um, we've got some food in here. Let's get a cup of these. How many milk she's got? Puppy milk as well everywhere. And I'm allergic to peanut butter, but she's got a big tub of peanut butter as well that she can have. Ready, Minnie? Oh, I'll get you in focus. Where are you? Where have you gone? There you are, Minnie. Sit. Speak. <laughs> yeah, good girl. And I'm loading them into the fridge. Yeah, our fridge isn't big, so hopefully that'll just all That's fit in enough. like that anyway. Is that good, Minnie? Ta -da! Do you want this, Minnie? Do you want it? Go to bed. Yes, good girl. She knows where the bed is because that's where she gets her treats. Look what's come. I got my Valentine's Day card four days early from Richard. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's there. Four days he blames me. I do blame you. I do. So a card came. I always open the post. A card came. It had my name on the front. It said it was from Moonpig, but that was on the 10th of February. Yeah, what do you think's coming up? Mm, my birthday this year. Maybe it was an early birthday card. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we got, um, I opened that early. I just didn't think. I went, oh, it's from Moonpig. It said Moonpig in Guernsey. So I thought maybe someone in Guernsey sent it to me, but I don't know anyone in Guernsey. So I was intrigued. So I opened it and it was Valentine's Day card. Um, he was obsessed. So I just put it on the windowsill and then he came down and went a bit crazy at me because he realized that I'd opened the card. So yeah, lesson learned. Don't open mail that is addressed to you until you know what it is and who it's from. I don't know how you do that. Hello, Mimi. Hello, Mimi. Mimi, sit. Good girl. Stay. 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 Yes, good girl! I haven't got a treat, I don't know what to do. Yes, I'll give her lots of praise. Good girl! Now, sometimes when we engage with Minnie, she will immediately grab a toy and bring it over to you. Usually I get this tug of war toy, and as soon as I get that, she'll go for it! She wants to play tug of war! It's her favourite game. Tuggy tug tug! Tuggy tug tug! Yeah! Good girl! So Richard's been chopping up some of the veg and has only just realised that he needed to preheat the oven! What, what oil is that? Coconut oil. Coconut oil. So why don't you talk us through what's happening right now, sir? You're just it frying that. that. And now I'm just breaking up that meat. Yeah. But look how cute! I have ordered one. Disney before. waffle. Mickey Premium Bar. Look, he's in this photo. You're supposed to put your own photo in there, but I actually preferred having a photo of my best friends. So what are you doing with the lentils? Are you going to just pour that in? Uh, no, I'm going to sip them. Um, I thought lentils were like little flat round things. Well, rather than like balls. Kale is being washed. Is yeah. Oh, yeah yeah, because kale kind of looks like little trees. They're all like crinkly, aren't they? And spinach leaves are like flat, uh, yeah. flat green leaves. So that's got the crinkle on it. So how do you know when it's done and you've got to move on to the next thing? Does it say like when it's brown? Uh, not really. I just guessed that this goes in next. So this is what Richard does. He doesn't read the instructions. He just makes up his own thing. So I like rules. I like logic. I like following something. Um, as written, whereas Richard doesn't bother reading it, he'll just make it up as he goes along. Guess who's back? 
Back again, Minnie's back. The, the coconut oil. Smelling the tea towel. Do you know how spicy Pisander is? Like, do we just stick all of that in? Okay. It's not full though. Well, no, um, a lot of stuff in the bag has got it on. I just don't know how um, spicy Pisander is, so maybe we'll put in it bit by bit and um, try it as we go along. I'm not very good with spice. Do you like spicy food? You don't normally eat anything spicy. I hate spicy. Either. Well, yeah, so we shouldn't stick everything in. Maybe put a bit in and try it. But what are we adding now? What's that? Tomato puree. <gasps> tomato puree going in. So ginger puree, tomato puree. And the garlic I've put in as well. Garlic is in. Oh, this pan is so bad. This pan is horrendous. Are you just going to stick all the pasanda in? I'm not sure. Well, it's actually less if you don't like spice. Oh, oh my god, that looks like all of it. No, that's not even all of it. <laughs> but then at the same time, I do want a curry. It's meant to be curry. Oh, you know what? Stick it all in and we'll just regret it. <laughs> we'll just hate our dinner this evening. Now what do I do? Uh, I'll check. Oh my god, I'm the sous chef. Um, what have we done? Um, oh, stir in the garlic, blah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Combine and cook for one minute. Then pour in the coconut milk, which is there. Uh, pour in the coconut milk, water, see ingredients for amount, and the chicken stock powder. Well, that's the chicken stock. Is that from the other packet? Um, and the water, oh. Um, water. Why am I being blind? Where's, oh, water for the curry oh, for two the people. Milk was meant to be. Is it just because it's cold? Is that frozen? Rich and creamy. Why is it solid? That's like a paste. Yeah, is it frozen? Will it just melt in? It'll just melt into it. It must do. That's weird. Um, jug, jug, jug. Maybe it's just frozen. Never had coconut milk like that before. Okay, 150 ml water. I like this jug because you can actually see from the top. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see the water level uh, or any liquid level because of the way that they angle this. You can look down from the top and pour it in and we've got 150 mil and also it's got it from the side. I'm probably slightly over, but it doesn't matter. So this is when it will go really curry-y. That's the chicken stock. I think basically I should have had, I should have mixed that with the, next, the water, which is what I usually do. But you didn't say anything. It didn't say that. Now that I'll mix in, I will get... And lentils. I think I'm thinking of chickpeas. Are chickpeas like the flat things? I don't really know. Okay. So can we add these now? Yeah. <gasps> Shall I add it? Yep. Here we go. Thank you. I did it. I did it. Bring it to the boil and simmer until the mixture has reduced slightly. Three to four minutes. I think Minnie might be a little bit fed up of being ignored whilst we're making dinner. We have this every time that we're doing something. She just wants to play. Nobody's talking to me. Uh, Minnie, do you want your dinner now? Huh? I'm not putting the kale. The kale must be later. Are you going to sleep, Minnie? Minnie might be going to sleep, so we'll let her have a sleep, make the dinner, and then maybe when we have dinner, I'll um, serve her dinner. Oh, yeah, look. She's going. Are you going off to Napland? You going off to Napland? Oh, that woke her up. We've got a really squeaky pepper grinder. <laughs> oh, Minnie. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little Minnie. It's working. I put my spell on her. We have a sleeping Minnie. She's gone. She's gone. Oh. Yes. Can I stir it? Well, yeah. That's Not simmering. Much, oh, I just gave it a little mix. It's a shame we don't have any cheese because I really want to fold in the cheese. Good boy. Richard's doing his washing up as he goes along. I am contributing by supporting him through this. Sure. Yeah, you go girl. 
<laughs> you wash that. You scrub that. You scrub that dirty sieve. Sieves are really hard to clean because you do one side, there's all bits that get caught on the side. Oh, we haven't put our fairy lights on. Don't do it with wet hands. We've got our fairy lights and we put the fairy lights on. I can't reach it. <gasps> there we go. Fairy lights are on outside and the reflection of the inside. How's it looking? It's looking simmery. Oh, you've put a timer on. Oh yeah, it says 43 seconds left on this timer. I love that it's on an angle, because it's cool! What's the next step? Um, very bossy. Next step, finish off the prep. Trim and thinly slice the spring onion. Well, actually, this is what I mean by Richard doesn't follow instructions, because he's actually already done it. Did you break something? I hate this girl. Um, Richard has just... Broken the hinge a little bit, little yeah, pieces fallen off. Down. That's never fallen off of me. Constantly. You must have a very strange door opening technique. Sure. If anyone would like to donate their um, kitchen equipment to us, we need pots and pans and pretend lids. Doing very well at putting that in. The chaos are big. Oh, that will go down though. Do you like spinach? Don't you really use kale? Yeah, kale will, yeah, that will all kind of go, it will really soften and go much smaller. You know when you put big mushrooms in and then you cook them and then oh, a few minutes right? later it go, it all shrinks down to tiny and then you feel like stuff in it. So that's what will happen. Time for the naans? You just stick them in like that? Yeah. Did you put water on it? Yeah. <laughs> just looked at a mini. Oh yeah, she's still dead to the world. She's moved, but she's there. Do you want the nut? So, question about this. It says here, serving bowls with the spring onion, which is here, sprinkled over the top, and the naan on the side for mopping. Oh, so that's curry. just a garnish, the spring yeah. onion. So, do you want do you want the naan on the side, or do you want the curry on top of the naan? Well, like beans on toast, or like beans on wheat. Well, yeah, but like. It's like, Why don't we get a Weetabix and put it on a Weetabix? And then we can start in the... like curry and a naan, isn't it? Yeah, like curry, curry Weetabix. Um, well, just an idea, I thought. Well, I would normally just put... Because I saw that and thought it was on top of the naan, and then actually I didn't see that. I never thought about it being on top of the naan. I just would have a plate of curry and a naan on the side, because then I okay, kind of so grip pieces. Well, why don't you do yours your way, and I'll do mine... My way. <laughs> like Frank Sinatra. Can you drink please? Can you drink that? Put that in a glass and make you some. Okay. Drink that. Yeah, I'm not going to drink that. I've been asked to make the drinks for this evening. So I'm thinking a little bit of wine, although I don't actually drink alcohol. So instead, go out some glasses. Oh! Hello, Grumpy. I live in a Disney castle. It's true. Okay, I have, I have my glasses, odd ones. You want what? Just that water, please. Well, the heat's only on two, I'd maybe, it looks like it's not hot enough. I turn the heat up, but it doesn't look like it's simmering. It looks like it's been going cold. That's going well. Um, Rich is going to have, what is this, orange and peach, orange and peach flavoured stall spring water. I'll give him the big one, this time. Thoughtful. That's like the whole bottle. Okay, I'm gonna finish. I have that tiny bit. I don't think I've ever had this. Oh! You kept that secret, that was quite nice. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna finish off this apple and black currant and then have the other apple. What's this doing here? This is puppy fresh. This is Minnie's deodorant. <laughs> she gets everywhere. Yes, yeah, it's my fault. Okay, I'm going back around. Do I want more than that? It's really hard to judge. I think I'm going to have like a tiny, tiny top up so that it's strong and sugary. Oh my gosh, I spilled it. That'll do. I'm kind of so messy. Water. You give me my squash. That's too much. Can overflow. Oh, no, would you like? 
Are they not the same? One's in the other, but dark in the other. And one's got that sounds as if one is burnt and one is broken. No, one's dark in the other. Oh, no, it's fine though. Oh, I don't mind. I you can have that one because I don't want the broken one. Okay, thanks. I'm already broken hearted. <laughs> I just need to clean up. Spillage on aisle five. Spillage on aisle five. I can't even make squash. It is. I'm doing it with. Oh! I'm doing it with one hand. So I should get special. special prize for that. Okay, that's better. Sorted. And already, see how quick he cleans up the kitchen roll? Gone! Back in the cupboard. Oh, I am very quick. Oh, that's a great Irish accent. We've had to be Scottish. I know, I was joking. I mean, what was my response? I've got no idea where that was from. Minnie has moved again. She keeps changing places. <laughs> She's still asleep. I'm going to get her dinner ready as well, actually. Let me do that. Right, let me give... Mini, well, I don't think she'll have it right now because she's there. Um, but there you go. Mini, dinner is served. She's not going to touch it. She'll have that. In a bit. Oh, I'm wrong. She's off. She's pretending to be asleep. She tricked me. Ah, oh, it looks gorgeous, just like me. Ready? Even, even portions, please. One. Ah. Oh, it's looking good. Two. Um, oh, that's a bit bigger. More, more for me. Oh yeah. That's good, really. With that with the naan and the spring onions on top. <gasps> yes. I mean, that looks amazing. And look. Remember when you were like, it's sticking to the pan? It's not there. Well, it was sticking to the pan, and then it... Now it's not sticking to the pan. It's so. all gone. Uh, Minnie, Minnie's licking her lips. Minnie, you've had dinner, sweetheart. She's like, I smell curry from HelloFresh. I wonder now. Give it to me. <gasps> Art pop. <laughs> Art pop. Okay, oh my God, look what I can do. Don't tell Richard. Put that there. Uh, no. That there. Mickey Mouse! Hello, little Mickey Mouse! Mine looks rubbish now. You've got Mickey you. Mouse! There we go! It looks Let's really go. good! Right, gonna tuck into this! Well, okay, so we finished dinner. That was so good. It, yeah, I was gonna say, I wasn't necessarily really excited beforehand. I thought it would taste nice, but um it was so good um like it really it really was i don't think i've ever had a curry with with like mint made out of mints like normally oh, no, you mention it. well normally if i get a curry i literally just you know it's just got like chicken pieces in with sauce and naan bread and rice i never um, thought about it like actually that's my first time having curry without rice as well i always get like the Is curry it? well yeah i get the curry with the rice I've had a lentil and the naan I don't think I have. I've just had um, chicken kormas and chicken tikka masalas and things like that. Um, oh, I've had a, a chicken tikka passandra as well. Um, but actually saying that, it wasn't spicy, was it? We put all of that no, passandra in no. and it wasn't spicy. And when I've had... It was a... like just the amount, just the right amount. I didn't taste any spice at all. Did you not? No. I don't think it was spicy. It was... Um, it was... It tasted really good um good. the only thing that probably wasn't as good is probably the naans um i i like a bigger naan and you know when you get one from a takeaway place they're just like um softer nicer naans like the texture that's probably because i overdid it then i don't know I, I just think when i get the you know if you buy like a <laughs> packet of naans and you stick it in the oven yeah they just taste like ones at home they don't taste like you'd get from the really from like the curry shop kind of place yeah the curry like, shop the indian they're like saggy like from the curry shop is that the right word yeah they're like they're like softer and doughier yeah. and these were these tasted more like the ones that you would buy in a shop in the fridge section and you stick in the oven for like five ten minutes yeah 
and sprinkle the water on and it ta they tasted more like that. They were fine, true, yeah. but they weren't as good as, as what I, I would want from a takeaway place. Uh, but it was really filling and to say that all I've had today is coffee and then that and now I feel stuffed, um, it did pretty well but also shows that my stomach has shrunk. <laughs> Cause, um, a lot because of the juicer <laughs> for the, but yeah it was actually really good how easy you did most of the making so how easy it was easy it, it said 20 minutes rapid it was a rapid recipe it said 20 minutes and it probably took me about 30 30 to 40 minutes purely because yeah, it of, definitely didn't take 20 purely minutes. because of the chopping i think and then maybe i simmered it for a bit longer the kale well, the was kale a little didn't, bit the kale didn't the kale didn't soften within the time they gave, and then I did it a little bit extra, and it still didn't soften as much as I'd want. No. But, um, yeah, overall it took about 40 minutes. I but think. I think that maybe, I felt like when I checked on it, it wasn't really simmering much, so maybe the heat was turned down. But then I put it up to three. I do struggle with cooking when it says, you know, a medium-high heat. What is that? Like, because everyone's got different stoves. Like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, yeah. So like what's medium high? Yeah, and I think you took it down to like a two. Well, I didn't know it said medium high. Well, um, it didn't for that. It did for other bits, but um, it did say to leave it simmering. So does that not need to be like high to kind of keep it simmering? So maybe maybe it needs that. Basically, it's all Richard's fault that it took thirty minutes instead of twenty <laughs> minutes. That's what I'm saying. I uh, said forty minutes. Minnie's. She's conked out. Minnie's dead again. <laughs> she um, she's just been out for a wee. We finished dinner. Uh, Richard's done the washing up. Thanks, Richard. Uh, took her out for a wee. Um, also, we've just put a blind upstairs as well. I'll have to show you that at some point. Just a quick blind. We just did that. So we did a bit of DIY. Some things. We've got like a list of stuff that we just need to get done. Yeah. Um, yeah. But overall, hello fresh. I thought that was great. So we'll have to work out what we're doing tomorrow, and we'll obviously make one of the remaining four. Mm. And see what we Where's the Saturday night tomorrow? Might have the burgers. I like that idea. Uh, yeah, Saturday night is burger night, isn't it? Yeah, great. We'll do that. Fab, yeah. anything else you want to say? Nothing else. Um, if you've liked the video, please give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. Um, the button will be somewhere around the screen. <laughs> if you don't subscribe already, then hit that subscribe button. It is completely free, so it doesn't cost anything to subscribe on YouTube. Uh, and make sure you uh, hit the bell icon, and then your notifications will be turned on. Every time we upload a new video, you'll then get a notification. So make sure you hit that bell and have that turned on as well uh yeah and if you have any comments or suggestions maybe there's recipes you've tried with hellofresh that you think we should try um then drop us a message as well all right bye from me wussy and richard and sleeping mini